Hello buddies, welcome to my channel. I hope you're well because I'm doing fantastic. Today I am on an Accra City tour with my Ivorian tourist, Chef Fry, and of course you're coming along with us. Guys, while we're on our way, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn your notification bell on. Now, let's get on this tour. So, first things first, we stopped by the Aquaje Interchange to have a photo shoot. Ready? Let's go. Alright, all done. Now we're making another quick stop at the National Theatre where we're going to have another photo shoot. Now off to the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park or Kwame Nkrumah Museum, still the same place. So usually when you get here, there's a guide who takes you through everything you need to know. By the way, this is the official car Kwame Nkrumah used while he was alive and as president. So yeah, that was the guy telling us about this car. Apparently, it still works, guys. So I would love to see it in action. You ready? What's the pose? The pose is supposed to be like this. <laughs> Don't fall. Okay, I'm coming. You usually find a guide around who tells you the story about Kwame Nkrumah, his impact, how he lived, his childhood, everything that you need to know. And the thing about this place is that outside up to his grave site, you can take photos, you can take videos, but inside where you get to see his belongings and his photos, family photos, all of that, you are not allowed yeah. to film or take photos of that. So oh, that's a bit of information yeah. right there. So here's something that I always do for my tallest or friends, you know, get customized Ghanaian bracelets. Thank you. I love her. They always do. Why you didn't know it was this huge? Yes. Wow. Okay, so we are here at um, Black Star Square, but we are going to cross over to Black Star Gate. Let's go. Oh, you're going right. Time to climb the stairs and go up. Guys, honestly, if you've been coming to the Independent Square or the Black Star Square and you haven't been climbing up to see this beautiful view, please come back. Please. We are on top of Accra. Yes, we are. Welcome to Accra. <laughs> Uh, you are on top of Ghana's independence, such the black soul, Africa's greatest symbol of inspiration, right? Which represent liberty, dignity, sovereignty, 
of black people wherever they found so this great symbol was created by honorable marcus garvey right right in the capital city say something beautiful to your friends hey happy Hello. to be here yeah. <laughs> this is a city tour this yes. is what's up yes yeah, lovely lovely <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm on top of Accra. I'm on top of Accra, right? You could say that. Yes. I'm on top of Ghana's Independent right Arch. Right behind me is Square. Yep. So that's what you say. Yeah, everybody meets black. I like this guy, for real. Oh, she probably scared to come up here. Too bad. <laughs> you are already on top. So right about now we're heading to a very last stop and that is the Osu castle or better known as the Christian Book castle. Come with us. First phase of this castle was actually erected by the Danish, by the people of Denmark in 1661. The first law of the people, the first law of the people, the first law of the people, and those were slightly below it, and that's the case. That's the first phase of this castle started by the Danish in 1661. So initially, the second floor wasn't part of it. See, well, the extensions on this right hand side, this left hand side wasn't done. What I'm making that takes about a about, about, about quarter size of this compound that we are working on now. It is very, very wide. All the Danish people used to do was harvest water and store it inside, just doing the rain. So the cleanest part of the rainwater is sitting down, sitting on top of it. They are to understand it. They are, able, they are just able to be some part of it. Original conventional chairs that we are looking at. That's where our first friend of Okan which must start start the extension to the continent that has been that's where we have for the government. Okay, so it's now the presidency, but the president used to be here with some of his two staff. And the vice president and the chief of staff and other staff occupying this side. So when that, those extensions wasn't there, they normally mount house. Do you know that? They normally mount house. Right now, it's time to go see the dungeons, and the truth is, this is always the hardest part of the tour because you're always reminded that this is how your forefathers were treated, and it's hard. Slaves used to get here, slaves used to get wounded. About 200 slaves, the least slave that I could do with this two was 200. Last one was about 250 to 300 slaves. All being kept here for five to six months. And this is the only source of regulation for this part. 
Alguém se doando só com a mesma araçada. Oh, wow. There's no way you can yes. escape. There is no way you can escape. This is one of black lines. Okay. So, the red dark. This is just a walk in. 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 So, this was just a walk in. This was a walk in. This was a walk in. This was a walk in. So the minimum was 80 or the maximum was 150 slaves. In this case, you are going to talk about another 50 slaves in this underground dungeon. So the next day, you are not as me, you are not even in there. This is just Okay, so this was how we ended the across the tour. No, this is not how we ended. Actually, we went to have some dinner. So we went for Banku with grilled tilapia. Gosh, it was so delicious. Look at all of that vegetable. Anyway, guys, this is how I'm going to end the video. And so please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn your notification bell on. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye -bye. This is how we are ending the day, guys. Oh man, I requested for vegetables. <laughs> <laughs>